You're watching UNICEF Television. The journey to the hospital begins early for 13-year-old Lucia Arguelles. She's living in a dirt floor shack in Mexico City with five other family members. They moved here from Veracruz so Lucia could receive better treatment for lupus, which she was diagnosed with a year ago. Today, Lucia's father joins her for the trek to the hospital, which has become routine for the young girl. She carries a plastic bag filled with all her medical records and medicines. They walk to the subway station, then take a crowded train before another long walk to the hospital. Many of her days are spent in the exam room, even as she dreams of another room, a classroom. Right now, I do not go to school, mainly because of my disease. I need to go to the hospital every eight days, and they give me injections for my lupus. So all this time, I could not go to school. But now, on the 17th of March, I am going to return to the hospital, and they are going to tell me if I can go back to my town in Veracruz, or if I need to stay here longer. Lucia's struggles highlight the challenge of how to educate indigenous children in an urban setting. Mexico City is a city of contrasts. Prosperity versus poverty. Modern versus ancient. All too often, the indigenous people who come here seeking opportunity find themselves and their children excluded for various reasons, including language barriers and cultural expectations that they work Eight out of ten indigenous adolescents in the city do not attend secondary school. Luckily for Lucia, there's a community center aimed at helping indigenous children like herself get an education when they're unable to attend traditional school. They study math, reading, and the Spanish language, but they also study their native languages and culture. These community centers are an education initiative led by Mexico City's Ministry of Education. The aim? is to bring non-formal education tools to the most excluded indigenous children and adolescents in marginalized urban areas. Fernando Trinidad is the general coordinator of all the centers and speaks on their behalf with the government. We are opening indigenous community centers in all of Mexico City so children can continue their studies and they can build a better future. UNICEF is working with the government of Mexico for the fulfillment of children's rights with equity and to promote the implementation of public policies of educational inclusion. UNICEF is also providing technical support so that this gap in child rights is closed. And girls like Lucia receive the same opportunities as other children. This is Thomas Naibo reporting for UNICEF Television in Mexico City. For more information, visit UNICEF.org. Unite for Children.